Hello, welcome to another Gramtastic stream. I'm Gram, and I'm on my own again. <laughs> Unfortunately, decarbonizer appears to have to take need to take his car apart uh, to get to the exhaust. So it's going to take him a bit longer, and he's working into the evenings because obviously work and stuff. So he's not going to be around tonight. So it's just you and me. Things go. Anyway, I have got an axe, finally. Put the axe in there. Uh, oh, just heard that sound I don't want to hear. I've changed the time to uh, four o'clock in the morning, so it should be. later um i think it would be cool or interesting to do a bunker um i was watching a video oh you'll notice that my all my metrics are in the blue down the bottom left hand corner so our water is 100 percent um and it's all because i ate a load of uh those mushrooms so the vitamin d even though it's still a bit low make some more that's that seems to be the thing there you have it <clears throat> vitamin d seems to have a major impact on your ability to uh, retain water and food and food and all it did all I had to do was eat some mushrooms right apparently I need to do a po Grinova you're a regular now are you <laughs> cool welcome back regular it appears that I'm regular too. Oh, they haven't fixed that bug. They said that they fixed the bug where these came up. Cool. So, um, if you have a prison pocket, and a prison pocket is quite that. It's like, when you're going to prison, you don't have any pockets to put anything in. Um, yeah. You get one of those. And you get one of those. But it won't do it that yet, right now. <clears throat> I may as well take that another line. How was my day today? Well, me, I got a bit of a sore throat, but that's pretty normal for me. Um, I had quite a busy day because I'm um, uh, standing in for the team leader in the job that I do. So I've been uh, busy doing that. Ooh. Let's put that there. There we go. Um, yeah. And also doing my normal job. Because, yeah. Uh, tomorrow I've got quite a lot of team leader retype stuff to do, so I'll be I'll be busy doing that. So my, my thoughts are that I would like to do a, a bunker. The other thing I noticed that a lot of these uh, videos that I've been watching, they've been doing, is that they've been uh, going in with an axe and using that to, to, to fight the zombies with. So I want to try out that and see how that works too. Uh, so I've got an axe, but actually I want the li little axe, the little chopper. So uh, I think driving around looking for one of those might be a good idea. And then I'll use the red backpack because that's basically empty and go into the bunker. Um, I pick as much stuff up as I can. Have you ever played Daisy? Yes, I have. I've got Daisy. Actually, that uh, brings me on to another topic. Uh, Dannon, who was on yesterday, uh, said he was thinking about uh, buying his own server, and he's gone and done it. So uh, he only sort of announced it uh, to us uh, this evening. 
and I did think to myself, I play Daisy tonight instead, but then I thought, well, no, actually, I've said that I'm going to play this, and then Decarbonizer says he can't make it. So it's me, just you and me, me and you. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good game. I, I quite like it. Um, I've got quite a few hours on it. I think if you go through my back catalogue on YouTube, I think I've got some Daisy on there. I can't remember. Um, it won't be the... Uh, he He's decided his is going to be a PvE server, so it's password protected. So all about the crafting and uh, fighting the environment. So basically the same as this server. He's also uh, thinking about um, adding some mods when he figures out how to do them. So it'll be a modded server. But at the moment, it's not. He only got it, only got it today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I've used my inhaler, but... Um, it's a preventer inhaler I use, and I'm supposed to be using it about five o'clock every bloody evening, I forget, and end up using it just before, or around about seven o'clock, but today, I'm actually using it even later. I actually used it about half an hour ago, which means it's not going to work until much later in the evening for me. I might have to go and get my other inhaler. Anyhow... Um, I want a little axe, or I'll make one, and I'll strip down, I'll, I'll make a, a bed as well, outside the thing, so if I die I can respawn. Um... Half role play uh, tends to be more enjoyable for beginners. Mm. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've got the time from a streaming perspective to do to do that because I only stream for a couple of hours in the evening, and role play kind of requires you to be spending longer to get into the character and develop the, develop everything. You know what I mean? I think. Um, from a from a streaming point of view, Platinum is in the house. Hi, Platinum, my friend. How you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, I like the pictures of your um, your pad on um, Maestro's Discord. Just less dying if you're if you're bad. <laughs> That's true. Uh, somewhere around here. Oh, it's up here. Platinum's got a base up there. Let's see if he's been doing any work on it still. Platinum's got bases everywhere. He's done something. And it looks like he hasn't. I can still drive into it. Oh, that's your that's your Florida place. Right. How many places you got? <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's not very well defended, this base of yours, Platinum. <laughs> oh, there's a zombie there somewhere. You got three. Blimey. Nice. Anyway, so I was watching this video and they basically casually walked into a, a bunker. There was another thing that they did at the end of the thing which I'm really curious about, so I'm going to try it out. Because um, I'm going to do the whole we can spawn and all that stuff. <coughs> Respawn on, on the uh, bed. Um, he literally stood by uh, the fence and the robot walked up and didn't see him and then um, and then he was standing in the gap in the hole facing the robot and it didn't see it, see him it sort of didn't do anything I didn't have the sound on 
Uh, then he had the axe and he threw the axe at it and then quickly walked walked away so that he was the chain link fence was between them. Um, I think it's safe to stop here. Let's have a look and see if there's anything worth getting in this thing. Keep an eye on the smoke. Keep an eye on the smoke. Always look at the back right one. And then the back left one. We've got a ghillie suit. And we've got an SVD. And then, come on. <coughs> Noise. Keep that on us. Keep an eye on the smoke. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm going to put that on there. If the smoke stops, then, then the alarm's going to go off. Cool. And then you unpack that. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. And then load that. And then uh, put this in the car. Put that in the car. Put that in the car. And uh, we'll put that in the car. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I've already got one of those, but I thought it didn't hurt to have a second one. As a spare. Uh, we want to go north. I'm sure that there isn't a uh, river in between us. Is there? No. Actually, let's go through that gap. <coughs> right, there's... um. Oh no, no, stop it. Right, there's um, a little town here. Sometimes there's um, vehicles in here, so it's always worth coming into other, other pictures. There's a car there. Sometimes they're on the side of the road. Sometimes they're in things. down the other end. Is that a, a left tractor? Yep. Cool. Nothing in there we want. I don't really want that tractor to be honest, so I'm not that bothered. Um, I've just eaten something. I'll eat something else then. I just realised I do want uh, that because is that a little axe? Be a little. Oh, it's a big axe. I want a little axe, I want a little chopper. Oh. Cool. 
<laughs> Have they not got the little axes anymore? I'm looking at the moment for uh, rags, clothing, uh, not stri stripes though. Uh, grab that. Oh no, no, don't wear that. Okay. Um, we'll ditch that. Ooh, there's a mix on the floor. Where did that come from? Grab the nails anyway. Bee pollen pills, awesome. So bee pollen pills are really good for uh, recovery, especially if you had an injury. I need to get another bottle, don't I? A big bottle. Um. Miss that one. There we go. All well done. You're hungry, are you? So hungry. Oh, fine, we'll eat, uh, we'll eat some bread. <coughs> no, I didn't eat all, but I'm not going to eat it all. I'm just going to let it go down a bit. Eat a big chunk. That'll do. Yeah, it went back because I think that, that fell off. There you go. Eat one of those. A little bit of fat. It's a bit like Daisy, that isn't it? Um, eating uh, fats that you've cooked is uh, good for you. It's a big axe, isn't it? That's a better condition than that. I don't know whether you've noticed, but when I'm searching for things, I always uh, hit the search and then move the mouse to the next thing that I'm going to search. It's just my little way. So when you're making uh, a bed, you do need rags. That's why I'm picking up the uh, uh, jackets and stuff because I'm going to cut them up. We had a base in here once. It didn't really work out very well. Uh, zombies kept spawning. And then running through this this gap, even though we fenced it off. So, um, in the real world, though, you can't. Um, right, are you ready? Where are all the zombies gone? They count as the top one. Oh, no, there you go. Uh, well, let's drink up anyway. It's 
assault that back. Don't want that. We've got the big one. Big radio. It does turn off when you when you leave the area. So if you go too far away, it'll just turn off. If you log out, it does as well. You made rags there. What am I doing? I'm just leaving them behind. Sometimes there are zombies waiting upstairs, so it's probably the worst. Uh, if you're not... The, the amount of running around that I'm doing, I, I would have triggered them. So I'm guessing that they're not. Right, open up. Yeah. <coughs> the radio's still going? Another shop there. Where are all the zombies gone? Kind of weird. Spooky. There's a press in there. It's a bit depressing that I haven't found uh, a small axe. Want a hatchet? That's the glasses, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I might pick up that um, box of nails. Put it in the car. It's the kind of thing that's useful to have in a car. Car. Car, 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 car. Hmm. Maybe they haven't spawned in yet. Maybe someone's been through here recently and cleared it all out and it just takes a while for them to start respawning back in. <coughs> yeah, my throat's starting to calm down now. That's good. Anyway, so I was thinking 
because it's something I do. I think. I think anyway. I think I do anyway. Do I think? I think I think. Uh, that's. I have got enough games where I could possibly do uh, one game per evening. And I know that um, Seven Days to Die isn't that popular a game. But I'm quite enjoying it, so I'm going to carry on playing it. Um, we're building up to Day 7, so if you're interested what Day 7 is going to be like, that will be happening on Monday. This Monday coming. Um, but I was thinking, uh, I've got Scam, I've got Day Z, I've still got... Um, Horizon Zero Dawn to play at some point. Uh, it's on my list. Um, oh, hello. Took a while for that one to stop making noises, didn't it? I was right. Well, that worked out right. Will sneeze? Sorry. Oh, the tickle on my nose. <coughs> Bane of my life. Uh. Oh, that was pants. Get it. Pan, pan, no, oh, okay. Go, you're a tough crowd. Uh, sometimes there's one in there to go as well. Hmm. <coughs> well, that was a bit of a Oh, might be an axe in the in the barn area. Hello. Just check the Danny. There's some glasses in there. There's usually a zombie in these now that we've got them to spawn.
What you got on you? You're fully kitted, so it might be like banana or something. <laughs> Is it? Shot across there and then decided, nope, actually. Maybe uh, the stuff that was there was um, a, zero, a zero value. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's why. <coughs> so it just deteriorated as soon as you put it on the floor. That would make sense. Right. Apparently my character wants to have a Wii. So it's going to have a Wii, alright? <sighs> Yay. Something you can't do in DayZ or Seven Days to Die. So Seven Days to Die, DayZ, Scam, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is obviously a bit out there, um, Elite Dangerous, uh, what else is there? Oh, and Generation Zero. Uh, I have played the first DLC up to the first DLC, but there's a second DLC that's come out, and I'm uh, there is a bit of interest in the uh, the Generation Zero. I was watching uh, actually a video. Someone commented on one of the videos that I did uh, on YouTube, and uh, I went back and watched it, and it was absolute carnage. Me and Milo were being slaughtered by uh, three tanks and a harvester, and the harvester just kept spawning uh, hunters. Uh, and it was, it, it was hard going. Uh, we died a lot. Um, you don't really die in that game, though. You uh, just get knocked enough that you have to then respawn back. But the respawn points, you can't put them anywhere you like, like you can in Scum or Seven Days. It's uh, different. But yeah, uh, one, one of the things I, I noticed, I was going like, oh, my ears. Um, so definitely going to have to turn down the game sounds. And I could hardly hear Milo talking. In fact, I could hardly hear Milo talking while we were playing. But um, when you actually watch the video back, you, you can kind of hear Milo talking, but you can tell that I can't hear him. Because I talk over him. And yeah. Uh, and he was going like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> A lot, but yeah. Um, but I do think that we maybe should revisit. Um, we have leveled up our characters quite a lot in that game, so I seem to recall there being a brook along there. Right, this is where we're going. So there is a bridge. Actually, we can go over that bridge. Over that bridge. <coughs> Do I need anything in the garage? Oh, let's just nip into the garage. See if there's any beepers there for a few minutes. Oh, there is. Oh, there you are. Get out of it. Keep them, keep them together. Keep them bunched up. Oh. Keep them bunched up. together it's so satisfying when this happens when, when you get this working <laughs> oh we only took out one that's a shame Let's practice with this gun. 
Oh god! Did you see that? Oh, that's a clip, isn't it? Wow. Two on a snipe. I think I was going to get two of them. Blimey. That was impressive. Especially for me. <laughs> right, let's uh, nip in and get some fuel. I don't need that much fuel, but... I can't remember that I had... I'm sure I picked up a jerry can. Which I put in the car, but I don't remember whether there's anything in it or not. Right, whenever you go into these, you should always go to the end. This is Etiquette. So if anyone else comes in, then they can park in behind you. Oh, crap. Where did you come from? Any more? <coughs> we'll just check in here as well. Nothing in there. I thought that. Ooh! 90%. There we go. Right, happy now that there's there's a shop as well. We'll do the shop in a minute. So let's just fill up first. Can't do that yet. Right. So we wait for it to go down. There we go. Oh, we can just press that. <coughs> Does that make work? You're not getting a, a thumbnail on it. Looks like it works. Right, let's practice with this gun. Oh, God. Cool. Neat. I couldn't hear the sound on that, but I think you could, so. But it's all good. Right, then go in there. Oh, I took that off, didn't I? Okay, doesn't matter. Um. Go that there. That can go over there a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right. Doing good, doing good. Right, let's nip into the shop. Spitfire jacket. Hmm. Apparently there's a Negan jacket in the game. I don't remember seeing one, but yeah. Walking Dead, obviously. Right, so I gotta make a bed. Oh, let me get in the car. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, dear. Well, that's not good, is it? Oh, come on. Really? Alright, let's try that. Oh, it's working. It's not working. I don't believe it. Really? Is 
it wouldn't let me in because there was something blocking the door but there wasn't anything blocking the door so i pushed it to get it out of the way and it rolls over into a position where i can't actually push it back i'm not getting any action at all am i We'll push that way. It doesn't make sense to push it that way. It's moving. It is moving. Oh. Oh. What's the movement there? Push again. It's weird because it's not actually doing anything. Oh. You can see it rocking. Rock, 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 rock. Ah, come on. Okay, folks, so. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I didn't want that. Oh, that didn't work, did it? I need another car. Another car to push the car. That will that would solve it. Just have to push it this way, I think. Believe it or not, it is actually moving it. It's just so. Yeah, because I want to spend the whole stream doing this. Option to push. There we go. There you go. That works. See what I mean? Weird. Cutie weird. Right, so uh, I need to get in here. I thought I was going to be spending the entire evening doing that, you know. Um, but yeah, I need to get around here. Um, Entrances. Where's the entrance to this place? Is it around here? No! Hmm. Anyway, yes.
I think. Right, so I'm gonna make a bed. I will make it here. This is for when it all goes horribly wrong. Right, okay, so uh, I need to make a... Uh, where is it? I can never find it. Where are you? There you are. Improvised bed. That'll do. Right, and now I picked up a, a big jacket that I'm going to uh, cut into rugs. With my axe, apparently. And not my scissors. Scissors actually have a higher return, but we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, so I need rope. I haven't got rope. So um, there are different ways of making rope. Given that we've got that. Uh, we need five strips or five sticks. One, two, three, four, five. So you can do one, two, three, four, five. And then improvise rope. Or if you haven't got any, or if you're beginning of the game and you don't want to be damaging the clothing that you've got because you want to make uh, bandages out of those, then you do one, two, three, four, five, and do... It's not going to let me do it there. A tree bark rope. <coughs> and if you haven't got enough sticks, then you've got a big long wooden stick there. You can cut that into small sticks. And that will give you one, two, three, four, five. Which will give you that. There you go. So that used all of the tree bark rope and five out of the ten on the improvised rope. So one stick, a bunch of five small sticks and one big stick, and you've got enough to make enough tree bark rope to make the bed. That is now a respawn point, and if we go to the map, you'll see that I've now got an H here. And the H that was down here is not. You can't see the H here because I'm in the way. I'll just run away and I'll have. Yep, no, I'll have to run all the way away. Might be quicker for me to drive away. You can just see the line of the H there. It would be quicker for me to drive away from it. But just trust me, there's an H there. And now that is my new spawn point. If I destroy that bed, I won't have any spawn points at all. The spawn point that I had before at the main base is now gone. It, the bed is still there, but it, it's non-functional. So you can only use the most recent one. And if that's gone, then it's gone. Okay, so the plan is that I'm going to go running in there with nothing. Um, or very little, nothing. So I'm going to quite literally <laughs> take everything off. I'm even going to take that off. Um, I am going to take some bandages with me. Uh, so we'll take those out. And I am going to take... I'm only going to take the axe. This is science for me as well, so uh, I can go in there as well. And the boots. Oh, I didn't want the sexy jeans. I forgot. Oh, I must. Oh, because I picked them up, didn't I? <laughs> right, and then that. And then I've got a red backpack. That one. So I'll put those in there. I, I'm going to have those there anyway, because I think it makes sense to have those. Uh, and there was some. Those are all empty. Um, yeah, I'm going in with basically nothing. So if I die, 
The only thing I'm going to lose is an axe and a backpack. If it all goes horribly wrong. Oh, uh, I'm going to take my uh, helmet uh, off. Because I don't want to lose the helmet. And I'm going to take that off as well. Don't want to lose that. So that's it. So I am pretty much unprotected. Okay, so we started here. I'm curious to know whether he can see me. He couldn't see me. I'm just going to stand here, in plain view, and just see what happens. Science. I'm outside. I'm not running, obviously. <clears throat> so Platinum, if Platinum did this, the robot would just kill him. Nice legs. <laughs> you can't see me. Cool. Apparently you can stand in here and he won't see you. Science again. Hi Nomi, how you doing? It's <laughs> really funny. Okay, we'll just wait until he's turns. And we're in. Well, that was cool. So shut the door. Can you see through the half for a <laughs> not in the bush? I know. Yeah. Right, so I've got my axe. I don't think it's a good axe to be using, but we'll we'll go with it anyway. I think the axe is gonna be my downfall. Probably close the door, but I don't know whether I should or not. If I come down here, I've got a door. Yeah, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll use that as my escape route. We'll leave the door open. Do 
you know what? I'm going to have that as a bug cap. Oh, come on, really? That's irritating, isn't it? You can't get rid of these. Can you do that? No. How do you clear them? You can't clear them. Can I do that? No. Well, I do that, and then do that. No. Fine. Oh, irritating. So, uh, seven. Okay. What we got? Asval, Block 21, the debris. Yeah, we'll have that. Uh, M16 clip. What we got? Oh, I don't want that, do I? Got that. 50 cow! We need to get the. Um, the magazine for that. So I've got the gun, I just don't have the magazine. Actually, we don't need those, do we? So we'll get rid of those. Uh, we want mine now. We want those. What's that over there? Don't know, don't I? Do I do that? Yeah, I did that. Is it me or is the game gone dreadfully? Eagle flashlight and take that. Are we good? Yeah. And that's why I'm coming in with nothing. I'm going to make it happy at this, actually, you know. stack. I don't know what to do with those yet. Bum, 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 bum. the other guy doing this. He encountered quite a lot of zombies and stuff. And we've actually supposed to have more zombies on this server uh, than your regular. Right, each one of these is an individual search. Yay! I came in. I came in with nothing, basically, uh, but just an axe. Axe on the backpack. I got the backpack. I put that in there, and I got an axe. Everything else 
I've picked up while I'm in here. Uh, I watched uh, um, a, a short video of how to get into into this particular base bunker, and I basically did it. I, I put a, a bed. You can see the H now. I put a bed out there just in case everything went a bit horribly wrong, but it didn't. I'm sure it will do in a minute. Uh, I did watch the end of the video as well about how we got out, but I didn't watch any of the the exploring the bunker because I've been in it before, so I know that bit. But yeah, cool. Let's put some green on. Did that didn't work. So I think I did that because this is the way I came in. Yep, I came in this way. And then you got the, the things in there. How are you doing, Denon? Um, good news about your server. Uh, yeah, I think I'm thinking about um, splitting my week up between games uh, and actually um, doing a different game every night. Uh, I'm thinking at the moment I seem to be oh, because of slight changes to other people's schedules. Uh, we've got seven days to uh, die on Mondays. Um, I'm thinking about revisiting uh, Generation Zero because there's that second TLC that I haven't done. I wonder if they can do a marking system, spray paint or something. Ooh, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Like you can't. There is a game that you can do that, isn't there? Uh, Modern Warfare. You can spray paint. You can tag people. Is that meant to put that? Yeah, okay. No. <clears throat> well, I can put on a straight packet that. Hmm. I'm hoping to get some. Um, Oh, I know we can get them in the docks anyway, but I was just kind of curious about to get them. Right, we're up here, there's an uh, examine room. So at some point, there's going to be a respawning of uh, zombies in here. And it normally happens just after I say, at some point, there's going to be a respawning of zombies. Um, and I am expecting there to be a uh, beeper. Because there normally is a beeper in these. On the right, there's a toilet on the left and the right. Toilet on the left and the right. There's a control room at the other end. And always with control rooms like this, you should always, always, always look on the floor around here because there's usually something down here, like a gun. There isn't today, but there is usually something. Usually sometimes. You're hungry. Well, fine, well, we'll eat that then, shall we? So, uh, I'm thinking maybe Generation Zero on Tuesdays, because uh, Matt likes playing that, and Milo 
uh, quite likes it as well uh, when Ella Milo can come back he's still recovering uh, he's still a bit fragile unfortunately so yeah um, Those, those. Uh, if I remember rightly, this is a ladies only base. There's no men's toilets. Is that a bar thing again? Hmm. That way, been that way, and that way. So we got down here. Uh, this is back where we came. Can't open that door. Right, that's the two armories. I've already been in both of those. Didn't say that's done. That's the way out. I've already done those, I think. Oh, I didn't do those two. I feel like I'm pretty much done with scum now until there is a good update. Yeah. There isn't really a lot else to do. I mean, there is the big push. Uh, there's one place on the map that I've never been to. And that is... In the uh, the D4 um, up here, you got these bunkers in here, and I think that one and that one you can't remember. that one. One of uh, one of them. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there, and that's where the planes are. And some of it's all like caved in, but one of them you can actually go into the back. And when you go into the back, and then you've got all the, there's like a hangar, and you've got planes in there. And I've been through there, and I've been out to the other side, and there's another robot inside. And I haven't been any further than that, because getting past that robot is actually, re was very hard. And you can imagine it's going to be even harder now. And I think there was more than one robot in there. So, the reason why I've been saying, oh, uh, we want to do... Uh, get some ammo and go up there and start killing robots is because I want to go in there and start killing robots. So I want to kill a couple of robots on the outside but then go inside and um, kill the robots in there so that we can then do some uh, searching and see if there's anything in there worth getting. It might be there's nothing in there at all but it's just a place I've never been to. Once I've done that and yeah, um, I don't really think there's a lot I can do with Scum other than show people how to do stuff. Um, keep the, keep my finger in, in, in the... Uh, where are we going? We're going back that way, are we? Uh, no. I haven't got any food, have I? The office. Don't really want to do these offices. No, what's if I? Another office. Yeah. Let's check if there's any food. There isn't usually food in an office. Food in an office. I just heard a zombie. Right. Let's see if there's any. Just heard a zombie go. <laughs> so I'm thinking the zombies are done their respawn now. Uh, 
Oh, another Mark Vision. Oh, I want those. Oh, I don't want those. There we go, get rid of this. I prefer the green hell actually, yeah. Actually, I'm going to leave that door open. Okay. Oh, I've got some boots. Should I just walk around barefoot now? This is definitely a more uh, easier way of. Um, where do I say that shirt? Don't know. Uh, easier way of getting stuff. There we go. Um, actually, coming in with nothing but an axe and then. I'm rather surprised that I've not encountered any zombies yet. Oh yeah, not at all. Right, we'll equip that one. I want those. I'm now beginning to think. Can I remember the video about how we died? I remember some of it. Ooh, cool. I've been meaning to pick one of these up. Huh, not bad. Started out with nothing, going out with something. Right. Moving quite quick, that's cool if we need to. E -e. I recall there was a bush somewhere. Went out to the bush. This is where you find the puppets, yeah. Usually, if you're on your own, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to go past that way, and I'm going to get up and I'm going to crouch in the um, in the bush that's just here. Oh, bugger. Bugger. Nearly. <laughs> oh, bugger. Hear the... I hit the wrong key as well. Oh, man. I saw him and he walked over and he just crouched down into the into the bush. So I did, and it didn't work. 
Maybe I was still too close because he seemed to turn around on me, didn't he? I nearly made it out. I did so well. I fell at the last hurdle. How'd you get your stuff now? Well, um, probably by dying a lot. Right, first thing I'm doing is I'm going to take everything off. Everything. And I'm not worried because he won't see me. thinking very carefully yes what I'm thinking is that I should be able to crouch in the bush and then I should be able to see um, Can't see where I am in the bush. Can't see anything. So I'm confused because he shouldn't be able to see me, but he can. He's not going to come out, is he? Okay. Interesting. Well, that worked. Let's see if he can see me when he comes back. It doesn't matter if he sees me, because I'll, I'll die. I don't think he will. I think he fired at where he saw me last, which was in the, uh, in the gap here. that I picked up. Sorry, picked that up. Cool. Excellent. Learn something new. Am 
mushroom there. These mushrooms are pretty cool. They're puffball mushrooms and they're worth um, quite a lot. I don't enjoy this. It's about the only thing I hear him say. Yeah, so um, I keep sidetracking myself, don't I? So I'm thinking uh, seven days on Mondays, uh, maybe Generation Zero on Tuesdays, um, maybe uh, Scam on Wednesdays, or, or uh, no, Daisy, hang on, Daisy, Daisy on Wednesdays, maybe. He saw me through the thing. Would you like some of my cookies? What do you say? Oh, no, he's having a go. He's outside. He's walked through the... Oh my God. He's clipped through the bloody fence. Going around to where I was standing to have a look. He better not walk into my car because that car will go boom if he does. Well, it's just what I didn't park my car too close. <coughs> um, that, <coughs> sorry, my throat's gone there. Um, I that that. Fence that he just clipped through. There was a hole there. He he walked through the hole. That's the hole that I walked through to get in. This is where he walked up. He walked up here. That's where my car is. Open the gates. <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't need to. But yeah, I've never, never seen that happen before. So he thinks he can walk through the gate. <coughs> oh. Well, that was exciting. Shows it can be done. Right, the great thing is, is that that packs everything. So I can do this and then go like, right, okay, uh, that can go in there. Um, that could go there. Yep. That can go in there. Oh, actually, no. Uh, yeah. Um, That's mine. That's that one there. Uh, that can go there. That's 
actually what I'm going to be wearing. Um, I can go in here. Bing. the gun I picked up. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, is that still on mine? Yeah, that's mine, isn't it? Is that mine? No. That's... Actually, saying that, I don't think I'm right. I don't think I was. I had one. Um. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. Back to square one. balance is 241 so it's in the positive my calorie balance is 158 so that's in the positive and it's actually going up so that's good oh because I ate that um, bit of mushroom didn't I oh and my vitamin D is going up so that's good so let's just eat some more vitamin D Eggs have got vitamin D as well. That's cool. Are they low in salt? Oh, yeah. Cool. Right. That's how you do that one. Oh, before I do this, I want to... Um, Destroy that. Shink. I'm trying to think there's another one somewhere. There's one there as well. On the C3. Yeah, it's a bit weird that he could, that, that robot could see me, because he didn't see me when I went in. Um, when I went up, I, I tested that first, and he didn't see me. And then when I came out, he did. But the only difference is, is where he saw me. He saw me at the gate. So maybe the gate doesn't react the same as a fence. Maybe that's the, the thing. So you can do the fence, but you can't do the gates. But science. Science has been done. Webtech, you should get a donation band. Um I'm No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I. Yeah. I. It's a bit weird. Um. I don't really need a donation button. I've got a full-time job. So this is just a, a hobby. Um. But if anyone wants to help out, then um. Or feels that they feel feel anyone feels they want to help out, then uh, bits. Bits is probably the way forward because um, every bit that you donate, uh, I get the full amount. Um, 
if you're doing subs then I only get a portion of the amount from the sub if you're doing a prime sub um, that's obviously free for you if you've got uh, Amazon Prime and you've got it linked to your account then you can sub uh, that's one way of doing it hmm um, but my main goal if you will is to have uh, a big kind of free community as it were subs are nice and everything but um, it's, it's not my kind of focus my focus is building a, a community uh, of friendly people friendly helpful people that's 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 my that's my goal and if people have any questions people are there that are willing to you know help out and answer the questions if I can't answer the questions and there's gonna be times when I'm be playing a certain game and I, I don't know what the answer to the question is and I can you know uh, I do uh, for charity streams mostly for ASPTA ASPTA um, I'm not sure what ASPCA stands for. It's going to be protection. Is that protection cruelty to animals? We in in the UK we've got RSPCA, which is the Royal Society for Protection of Cruelty to uh, Animals. So I'm ASPCA. Is that that a similar sign of thing? Is it the American Society? Or Australian society. <laughs> Sorry, web tech. I'm not. I'm not sure where you're from, so I'm. 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 I'm guessing. But yeah. Yeah, I've not really thought about doing uh, charity streams. Um, the the main thing is mo most charity streams are all about um, streaming for long periods of time, like doing marathon streams or something like that. Um, and I don't have the time to do those sorts of things because. I work nine to five Monday to Friday, um, and I'm in my fifties. I'm a bit too old in the tooth, too long in the tooth to be uh, to doing all nighters. I used to work night shift when I was in my twenties, and I could do it. I could have done it then, but that was in the eighties and nineties. Is it me or is it really hot in here? Chronica, you're not too old. Ah, oh, thank you. It's a non-profit organisation to help protect animals from cruelty. Okay, cool. So as I'm, I'm seasoned. <laughs> yeah, is that salt or pepper? I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's one of the two. Anyway, Veronica, did you watch? I went into the bunker up in um, uh, D3. Up there, with nothing. I I went in with an empty backpack. And no clothes. I don't, I've just been listening. All oh, right, okay, cool. Yeah, it almost worked. Well, Americans love their salt, so. <laughs> cool. That's true. <clears throat> It wasn't until the uh, streaming actually that I, I came across salt as being a a, a a word that Americans use a lot. That's that's why I came across it. Uh, that was a few years ago. Uh, a Chronica's uh, a, a streamer. I can do a shout out. I can do a button. It'll work. Oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. There you go. There's Chronica. I thought it'd be cool to have the button not not to have the pictures and I'd be able to read the writing, but I looked at it and went, I can't read the writing. Uh, they've got a base and... Oh, someone's parked their car. Someone's left their car parked right across the road. What were they thinking? Oh. 
Oh. Did the light just change? Yes. So, if you're playing Scum and um, and you're playing on um, an open server, uh, you can't do that. You can't build into the into the river because that's a restricted area. Uh, you can build all of that lot, but you can't build that. Uh, and the reason that these guys built that is because I built something here. So that's what I'm going to show you. I'll show it to you. Uh, Decarbonizer and Dan helped out a little bit towards the end because we ran out of uh, toolkits. Um, I can't remember if I can go up. I normally go down, but we're going up into the mountain. It is quite steep in some of the places, so it might be interesting. Oh god, there's rocks! Um, who put rocks there? I mean, rocks. In front of a mountain, of all places. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Squish through there. These cars are very nippy. But, they're not very good at hills. Oh, I say, I say, I say. Look at that. Right, I'm going to go that way. That's cool. Oh, no. Nailed it. Um, look, it's as if, as if nothing had happened. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Right. So. This is gonna be okay. I'm gonna go over that one. To do through the true Um, right. Now up here. There's a cave. I showed uh, Maestro the cave. Oh no. Don't get much on that rock. Right, thank you. Right, the cave. Oh, yeah, I've got to get up there. The cave is along here. Right, here it is. There's the cave. There's the cave. There's the cave. I'll show you on the map. It's there. So, when you first start a game, if you're in this vicinity and you want a base, you want somewhere to start from, you can't do much wrong. Uh, uh, let's go up here. If I can do the... I can do tacking. go. Didn't take long, did it? What was that? A couple of minutes? There's a World War II bunker up here. I can't remember where it is. I can't remember where it is. Uh, World War II bunkers don't show up on the map, so you just have to know where they are by seeing them in the distance and working your way over to them. But it is on the top of this. I'm 
sure it's around here somewhere because no, no I think it's further down over that way but yeah there is there is a World War II bank right there anyway we're going to see oh god Oh, web tech. Oh, thank you for the follow. Very kind. I do have a Discord. Uh, Commander's in that uh, line. Uh, just popped up. And uh, I'm trying to build a bit of a community on there as well. I've got um, information feeds that go into certain rooms. Uh, news about games and, and stuff. There's news about uh, OBS as well. Let's cut across here. There's a road around this somewhere. Where's the road? Oh, the road's over by the trees. Ah! Oh, yeah. Really? Okay. Look the way you shut the door. Nailed it. You see it from here? You can see it uh, when you're on the on the hill on the other side. But anyway, oh, you can see some of it. Let's go over here. You can see some of it. You can see there's a run away. Uh, you can see there's a hut in the distance, just really low down. You got the there's the home with with something on it which is just above the, the center of the car if you go along a little bit to the center of the car there you can just see there's like a, a box that's uh part of it that's part of our construct it was us doing science uh so a guy called maestro owns the server um he's got a stream as well and he flicked the switch to say you can build anywhere basically which is cool uh this server is a pve server so we don't i'm that's why i'm just driving around indiscriminately not really caring about anyone trying to shoot at me because if anyone does shoot me they'll get banned from the server okay there you go that's what we built So, um, can we drive on it? Yes. So that says, built on the 20th of August, that's this year, by me, Decarbonizer, and Dannon. Uh, and then it says, can't really see it very clearly because of the shadow, but toll bridge, please repair. So we've put flags, we've got one flag there. And you can see the other two flags in the distance. Ooh, straight up. Um, so, the bridge could be repaired and then uh, and then we came back uh, the next day Stop. you've got to be careful about where it passed you see it was dipping down a bit there there we go so i got my headlights on still turn it off right <coughs> and again now the interesting thing is that you think that those things are going down, the legs are going down all the way down to the ground, but they're not. They're suspended in the air, so they're ex ex as they are as extended as they can be. But actually, you could swim underneath it. So we've got a, a, a chap called uh, Matt, uh, who I usually play uh, Seven Days to Die with. He made the snowman. Uh, he does play on the, on the server, but he's learning. Uh, so we've, we've locked the door, but we haven't done anything. There's no features. Uh, we have a decarbonizer made that, but then I turned around to him and said, actually, you can't light it, which is a bit of a shame. 89%. Oh, God, we're going to have to repair this, aren't we? Um, let's do that. 
there is a church on the island or a little chapel and uh, I've padlocked the uh, the door there we go so that's repaired everything and if I uh, activate it it shows the friendly area and you can see that it chops through most of the build uh, so most of the building is actually included in that uh, so you do actually have to repair uh, we, sh we should have had that moved over just a little fragment uh, and then it would have fitted but, but we didn't of course if they do a server wipe all of this will just disappear if I show the, the area of that one you'll see that it cuts through the, the thing so you do have to repair both <clears throat> I, I did have this funny idea of um, getting all the cars and putting them on the island and then uh, destroying the bridge and then people come and say how did you get the cars on the island <laughs> um, after we built the we built this up here uh, some uh, decar no platinum platinum told us that uh, if you put the, the big uh, bonfire up here and light it it lights up the interior completely so you don't have to worry about having torches and lights and stuff but we'd already built all this up sit down enjoy the view I had thought that maybe um, I might uh, build another base over by the dam over there so that that bridge is the top of the top of the dam which I can show you now so far we haven't driven uh, the car off the bridge into the water but there's still time uh, maestro refuses to drive on this I did actually make a mistake these are we built them the wrong way uh, so each of these uh, slats the gaps you can actually fall through as it were if you stop the car on it so uh, yeah should I repair the um... I might as well repair that we got it there got 11 left Oh, eleven left. There you go. There you go. Oh, I need to urinate. It literally beeped after I pressed the button. I pressed the F to get in the car. And it went beep. Oh, I need to urinate. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, he says. Uh, if you do join my Discord, um, I've got a bot in there that automatically assigns you a uh, a role. Uh, but you do have to uh, react to a comment in the roles room. You go into the room. It, it tells you when you join, it says, go to the roles room and like the, the comment, the message. There you go. Oh, okay. And it's only going to be like, be nice to each other, you know? Um... I could use the road. Well, who needs roads? He says, oh god, look at that. That's a bit tight. Squeeze through. Back on the road. <laughs> right, so the dam. Um, didn't used to be very much on the dam, um, but for some reason they've decided to add uh, the beeper. 
there. Uh, for those that don't know what a beeper is, a beeper is a puppet with a bomb vest. Uh, it's a proximity bomb vest, so if it gets, uh, if you, if it picks up on you being close by, it will start the countdown, which is one minute. Uh, the closer it gets to you, the faster the beeping goes. And if the beeping gets really, really close, then it'll go kaboom. If you're in the car at the time, the car will go kaboom with it. Uh, usually the beepers are around about where that uh, container is, just up the road a bit. Before I hit something. In. So that's the, the lake and that's the, the thing. I'm just going to get out and show you what it's like on the other side. Not for someone with vertigo. Ah, uh, vertigo. Fear of heights. Look at that. And you can actually look down. You see directly below us that there's actually a... Uh, um, there's a robot there. And there's another robot there. I think there's only two robots. Oh, no, there's three robots. So that robot there uh, basically walks down to the gate. Uh, there's the gate. So he walks down the gate, he walks all the way up there, gets there, stops, turns around. This one just says just, just this route here. Uh, it's somewhere about there, I would guess. Oh, there it goes to there. And then you've got this one, which actually walks up here somewhere. I think he walks up this far. I'm sure he walks up here somewhere. Oh, no, he stopped. Oh, cool. Yeah, they have made some changes. Uh, you can swim across the water. Uh, fast moving water at the moment. You can't. I don't think you can swim up that bit. I've never tried, actually. Maybe that's something we can try. Can you swim up the, these bits without being killed by a robot? Um, this uh, is a massive building. Um, usually, there you can see there's some boxes there. There's some boxes there. And there's some boxes there, so it, you can get up. But there's a ladder there. You can just see it, uh, which takes you up to the top. So you really you've just got to get around the back. And what we normally do is we normally come in, park up over here somewhere, and then run in through this area here. Uh, you've only got to worry about this robot. This robot will see you if you're in this area here. So you've got to be careful. So using the crane legs is usually a good way of locking yourself so he can't see you. And then there are steps. So there's some steps there. There's some steps there and there's some steps there. So whichever steps you want to use to get up. Some of us hide on the steps when we get close. Wait for this one. And then you just cross over and then try and get over here somewhere. Uh, and then we usually work around, go around the back. Sometimes we'll run up and go inside the building. You can get out the other side. There's a door like that on the other side. And there's some stairs up there as well. There's also those there that's worth having a loot. Um, and there's some over there. But that's quite hard to do. Because you've got the robot. This robot here can see you. This one here can see you as well. So you've got two robots I can see you at any given moment. Well, that's uh, that's that area. And you can only get to it, well, like I said, you can either get to it by uh, driving up here and then going down and following this uh, down. You can get to it by, uh, there's a road over here that comes in. You can just see the road there. Or you can just follow the, the river which I said is the way that we prefer to, to do it. Need to eat something.
but I have been thinking that it might be cool to have a base over the edge somewhere, but I don't know how or how we would do it. I don't even know if we could do it, but it just feel I just feel like more science is needed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we could do it. Anyway. You're not letting me in the car again. Oh, God. So it would have let me in the car, but I just needed to move over a bit. Right, okay. I remember that next time I flip my car over. So I'm just going to drive down here first just to see if there's a beeper. And those zombies around, is there? It's really, really weird. I don't know whether um, Maestro's changed something on the set settings or something. I mean, we have encountered some zombies, but even in the... Um, sorry, brainstorming there. In the bunker that we were in. There were no zombies around, there were none on the outside, none on the inside. That's freaky. It's so quiet. So, one last thing I want to do. Um, what would be the easiest way to get this? This could be dodgy. I've not done this route before. I'm gonna go around the back of the um, prison. Basically gonna go south, so we should be okay. Oh no. We're driving in the snow, you're not gonna be able to react very quickly. Oh, advanced driving skill. Awesome. The more you drive, uh, you level you level up. So. Oh no! I'm scooching there. Yeah. Oh, there it is over there. Right. Stay clear of that. This is a bit of a shortcut in a way, but it probably isn't really, because it would have been a lot quicker if I'd driven on the road. I just felt like a change of scenery. Oh, one thing I do want help with uh, in my Discord. Um, I put a suggestions room in there and uh, something that I've been thinking I want is um, some better uh, alerts and things, animations, um, but I'm at a bit of a loss as to what would be fun. Um, so suggestions. If you have any suggestions of any uh, video, little video clips or anything else like that that you think would be cool for, I don't know, say like if there was a follow or um, a raid or or something like that, uh, then um, stick a link to it in there and then I'll have a look and then maybe we can hash out what would be good ones to use or, or not use. It might be that they're not really my style so I might say no, but you know, you don't know until you try, and um, think of it like a think tank. There is no wrong answer, um, so don't be afraid to put a suggestion in, and then we'll just go with the flow. Uh, but yeah, so 
It's like ideas on a postcard. Join me Discord. <laughs> Post some ideas in there. Uh, and then, then maybe uh, I can flesh it out. I also want to do some um, emotes and things like that. Um, so yeah. Things like that. Oh, that's the castle just up ahead. Castle ruin, but yeah. Drive through it. Oh! I forgot about that. What a tree you can drive through. Um, those t uh, ladder, that ladder you just saw briefly. I uh, see there's that gap, those gaps in the in the uh, the turrets, the spires. Uh, they've got a ladder inside them, and quite often when you climb up, you can find uh, useful stuff like. For example, bows. Oh no, mistake. Well, not really mistakes, I'm doing this on purpose. <laughs> ah. Can we go through there, do you think? Oh, we can. There's, there was a rock under a bush, but yeah, we can. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, we can go down there. Just one last thing I want to show you. But it's gonna... oh. Okay. So we're going to drive south, so we'll go in the right way about it. Right, I want to cut it over this way a little bit. So uh, those mountains in the distance are actually on a different landmass to the one we're on. It's not part of the island we're on. Thread the needle. I just caught a glimpse of that. Just caught a glimpse of the top of it. I thought, was that a rock? Dunk. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. It was a rock. I don't think I've ever seen that bit before. Have a quick look on the map, see where we are. Oh, yeah, okay. That looks like a gap over there. It probably isn't, but we're, we're power out. So. Oh, God, hit the brakes. Oh, rocks. Oh, those uh, bright red things on the floor, they were, they were mushroom. They're the good ones. They're the ones that keep vitamin D up. Okay. What we got now? Quarry, also. Uh, we want to go to the right of the quarry, so we we'll go that way. I think that was the south quarry as well, so that's cool.
Ow. Oh. Tree stump. I'm going to check the map again in a minute because I have absolutely no idea where I am. Can I go in southwest though? That's what we want to do, isn't it? Oh, we'll go south now. Pick in um, sighting or landmarks and then driving towards them. Uh, looks like that long tree, big tree there. Not lasting very long, these. Ah, let's go that way. Spiky plants that are just whizzing past. Uh, that's aloe vera. And um, right. Oh. Okay, so the tractor is here because we left it here. Uh, but we tried, or we have been trying. Uh, to construct a bridge here uh, but we're hitting a brick wall because we keep getting to a point going out so far the only way that we can go forward from here we got here and it wouldn't let us do this so we built here and built one there and then it wouldn't let us carry on that way so we could build there so we did that and then forward here they wouldn't let us uh, it would let us build there but um no it wouldn't let us build there i don't think so then we built that one and then that one um, we built all these out here then we couldn't go anywhere else from here at all so we're really really close to the to the island and we're actually trying to get to this island here um proof of concept but yeah so i could build one there i think and I wonder if, uh, but it was very difficult because we were having to, uh, was decarbonizer and I, and we were both having to carry, um, cut down the trees and stuff, and then we were carrying the logs because we couldn't get a car onto this. You can get a car on, but you can't get a car off, which was problematic. I did think though that maybe we could put some boxes here or something, and then the, the cars could sort of drive onto those. But I'm not sure whether cars can do that or not. Anyway, yeah. So, we've been doing a lot of science, a lot of engineering, construction and stuff. Um, testing the limits of the game, shall we say. That's what we've been doing. Uh, I need to eat food, don't I? Uh, let's see. Let's eat the egg as well. Let's eat the walnut. And, and then we'll continue this tomorrow. So um, I do upload this onto uh, YouTube uh, after the stream. So once, uh, so. 
it, it used to start at 12 o'clock but um youtube has sort of changed the way the sessions work so uh, i can only stream at i stream it at quarter past 12. so quarter past 12 uh that's utc plus one because we're in british summertime uh the video will be broadcasting so if you're watching this tomorrow <laughs> or some other day because you're watching a, a repeat um then um thank you for joining us uh feel free to uh subscribe and um like or dislike the video as you see fit um if you dislike it it'd be nice if you can put a little comment to say why um don't just put boring like someone did because that doesn't really help i mean it, yeah it might be boring for you but why was it boring um that that that's helpful to me um and comments if you want to make any comments um but that's it as far as i can go uh if you're watching on twitch so you're watching live then uh i'm playing music at the moment which the other guys can't hear and i'm going to be doing a raid so if you stick around for the music for the raid that would be awesome if you enjoyed the stream then obviously uh click the follow button uh if you've got twitch prime and you want to do the twitch prime thing then then do the twitch prime thing but i'm that's entirely up to you um not needed but you know i i appreciate it if you do um what would you say so stick around for the music so tomorrow's e tomorrow evening's stream is at eight o'clock uh british summer time as i said utc plus one at the moment uh where i'll probably be doing some more scam or might be having a look at daisy uh dana's new server so i'll leave that open we'll see how things go um have a great a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in the world and i shall see you all tomorrow good night